Hello friends, my name is Kishan and welcome you in this video tutorial. In this video tutorial, we are going to learn how to redirect a page uh, in a Spring MVC handler method. So, to show this demo, uh, let's create a web based application. So, right click over here, uh, go to the new and dynamic web project. And project name, I am going to specify redirect web app click on the finish now dependent jars i'm going to copy in the leaf folder so let me copy the dependent jars from this project which we had created earlier uh, a model and view project so all dependent jars i'm going to copy from here here common loggers jstl tag i'm going to use on the jsp that's why jstl and rest of the uh, spring related jars are there so let's copy the jars and copy and put in the leaf folder now all dependent all dependency uh, we have copied in the leaf folder now in the same project uh, let's copy this folder and files which is inside the uh, web inf in this project so by the way this project i had created in my previous videos video so if you did not watch my previous video then i request you to go and watch this video and then come to watch this video uh, now i'm going to create this java classes has been so let's copy this java class and uh, put it to this src folder now one more thing i would like to copy that is one of the jsp page which uh, we had created in this project in previous video so in views we have a register register for jsp that I'm gonna also copy okay now most of the files I have copied so if you look into the web.xml then web.xml I had registered dispatcher sublet so when you work with the spring mvc framework then dispatcher sublet works as a controller so that controller has to register in the web.xml now we have a web configuration file that is also called a, a spring web configuration file here i have registered one spring bean is called internal resource view resolver who is responsible to basically resolve the uh, actual view name and here i have registered three package for auto scanning for controller service and as well as doll layer so basically this doll layer is just fake doll layer uh, real, I, i'm not really going to interact with the database so i have made an in memory in memory database so i have used our uh, list to make this demo in previous video so same i have copied over here now lib contains all dependency now if you look into the java class then java class has a controller dog user a model class and finally we have a service class so from controller i'm making call to the service and from service call delegates to the doll layer and uh, uh, basically DAW as well as controller layer and DAW uh, service and controller basically these all layers uses this model class now some modification I have to do in basically JSP page so let's go to the view and here this is a view page here to replace this guy and here i'm going to yeah that is post is absolutely fine and uh, and this is basically user list once user get registered then all user information we are displaying on this page so now come to here controller so in controller basically we are going to Basically, we are going to define a 
request handler method public now string uh, I would say register register page and basically I'm going to update this guy as a uh, nothing but slash URL pattern with get HTTP get method and this is going to return uh, simply uh, logical view name that is nothing but the register so that once we'll run this project then uh, register dot JSP will be displayed to the client and once user fills this form right then and user clicks on uh, register button then uh, we have to make a uh, request handler method whose URL pattern is register success with post method so let's create a one more uh, request handler method public and return type I am going to specify the string itself I uh, would say register success and here uh, we have to make this URL and here method would be post because this form we are going to uh, submit as a static method post okay and here basically I am going to collect all parameters uh, all these parameters request parameter right from which is uh, user wants to create an user so I'm not going to type it already we have uh, written so many examples in previous video tutorials so we can copy those uh, things from existing example so let me find okay. so here from here we can copy right so here we have used request forum to collect every individual attribute right so sorry here you can this uh, basically we can copy so many things from here okay we have made a map i don't want to use map i want to use basically So we have a controller here. We have used. So let's copy this guy. And here we can use like this, right? So let's see what happened. What was wrong with this guy? Return type is asking me to supply the return type. So basically, we are just getting the every parameter from the uh, submitted uh, HTML form and we have created a user object and from here we are making call to the service layer and this is going to return now a string itself so let's make as of now double quotes and I would say create user and I'm passing the user object from here right we have made the user the constructor and we are passing this values to create an object uh, uh, in database or in memory database now let's create this method in service layer service layer i'm going to use make i'm going to make user of this dog and dog i would say add user and we are passing this user now let's create this method in the doll layer and dog in this map they are already uh, we had populated three users we can add some more users so list is having an add method here you can add user right so this will basically work as a in memory database right so it's almost almost flow is done right now here i want to when we first time when user runs this project then register.jsp will be displayed to the client and then user after filling this register Page when user clicks on the register, then request will go to the this method, right? And user is gonna register, right? And after that, I want to redirect it on the this page, uh, list users page, and their newly registered uh, user will be shown as well, right? 
so basically uh, after performing some post operation if you want to redirect on the some new page like in the case of gateway payment right if you submit the credit card information then you don't want to uh, post operation should happen twice if you just presses some uh, refresh key or something else right in that case basically this concept comes into the picture as well so just you are going to redirect the user to the some new page so re, you will have to uh, write a redirect literal redi redirect so redirect to redirect on the uh, new page and colon slash and you will have to specify the url pattern of another method right and you can make call to the this method by specifying list user so you will have to append this you are this literal to write right this is the way to do that right and why this is saying that local value not used we have used right so, okay this was not saved that's the reason now almost we have done now good to go now here we can make a if you want then we can make a back button so h sorry anchor tag we can make and we can write h r e f and here we can write uh, we can again move on the redirect if user wants to come by redirect slash and i would say back button now let's run this project and see what happens. Now user is forwarded with this register page. I'm going to specify name as Kishan, email ID Kishan dot CS at the rate yahoo.com age i'm going to specify 30 and country is india and if you click on register button let me look at your latest register user is listed on the bottom right and if you click on the back again you will go to the register page and you can register with some new user so i would say kk email id is kk dot pk at the rate gmail.com age you are going to specify 40 and country is other and if you click on register then see previous register user as well as just now we have registered that is also listed in this register page so if i click on the refresh button then nothing wrong will happen by because in this case uh, just you are calling the gate method so i as we have discussed gate is idempotent method if you are uh, making call to this method many times this is not going to make any harm because this is basically reading the data uh, from your application or your underlying data store but these operations happens twice then some wrong thing will happen and in this case just you are registering a user but in financial project uh, you might uh, 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 you, you might be dealing with the some like credit card information or debit card information then there is possibility money will be deducted twice uh, from your account so make sure that post uh, shouldn't happen twice right because this is not item potent yes, basically you are performing some right operation on the server side so, but read may happen more than once nothing will happen because just you are reading data from the uh, data store so that's the main thing i wanted to show you in this video tutorial so in case you want to redirect the user to the another url if some certain condition is met just append uh just append a uh, redirect before the url right so in this example user will be redirected to the uh, uh, list users figure list users uh, list users url if if uh, user get registered successfully then and uh, in this page just we are showing the a list of all users uh, including the current register user so that's all i have in this video tutorial this code i'm going to put on the github and github location i will specify in the video description thanks for watching this video and see you next video tutorial